Good morning. It is Thursday morning. I tried to record yesterday and it ended up raining on our track workout. And it just, there was no light. It wasn't going to be any good. It is dark. It is rainy. And we're at the track. Why are we here? Why are we here? I don't know. We got to go somewhere else. We're going to do a six mile. Oh my God. Is it closed? Yeah. yeah. Oh my God. This is the second track. Un. <laughs> so I skipped it, but we had an awesome run. We ended up running four one mile repeats on the streets, on the sidewalk, in the rain. Adriana and I uh, partnered up together. Uh, Sujan was there, Steven was there, Tony was there, Michael was there. There were six of us out there in the rain and it was dark and it was wet and poor Adriana, my big old foot just splashing and slamming puddles all over her. Uh, so she put up with it and we had a great time. Ultimately, we descended the four one miles. We did a one mile, I did about a one and a half mile warm up. Then we descended from seven, I think 729, 728 down to a 649. So each mile repeat we did. We got faster and then finished that up with like a mile and a quarter uh, warm down, seven miles. In the morning, I got in a really great swim and we got no video out of it. So I'm recording today instead. I am about to jump on the bike. It is nice and early. Want to get this bike out of the way. Then I'm going to jump on the treadmill and do a recovery run. I like doing a recovery run the day after my track workout. And by recovery run, I mean using the lever, strapped in, removing a good 30, maybe 40 pounds of body weight, and just running easy, allowing my hip flexors and my just in general, everything, hip flexors, adductors, to just move much easier, light, extremely easy run. And the great thing is, is when you run on the lever, your heart rate is so much lower. So then I can run uh, nice and easy, my heart rate's super low, and I'll probably do about 40 minutes. After that, I've got a normal work day, meetings, lunch meetings, all that stuff going on, and I don't know that we actually have anything going on this evening, which is awesome. The girls' schedule has recently changed. They used to have off days when they did sports. Evelyn was Monday, Wednesday. Emmeline was Tuesday, Thursday. But that has shifted now to Monday and Wednesday, which is amazing because now Tuesdays and Thursdays, we have no place to be in the evening. We can cook dinner at home, which we do most of the time, but we don't get to sit down as a family and eat. So Tuesday, Thursdays, cook dinner at home. Fridays are still voice and dance. I can get a run in in those during that time, which is always great. And we try and eat dinner as a family that night as well. So I am so happy to be back to getting in family meal, sitting down with the kids and no phones, no iPads, turn the TV off and let's have a conversation. And one of the things I've learned, just a tip, is engage with questions that require more than a word, one word answer. Did you have fun at school today? Yes. Do you have homework? No. What did you do in school today? What was math, right? You ask questions that require them to talk more. And then you share as well. A lot of times we'll go around the table. What was your favorite thing that happened today? What was your least favorite thing that was happened today? Just create conversation, talk with your kids, be present, hear them, listen to them product I love. I am not sponsored by, but I'm not an ambassador, but I love squirrel nut butter. So I work with TriSwim, TriSlide, SBR Sports, and use their product for triathlon when I'm getting in and out of the water. I do use it for uh, chafing a little bit, but when I am on the bike, squirrel nut butter on the undercarriage. Because when I'm on the trainer, especially on the trainer, it is so much more uh, difficult for me to stay on the bike for a long time. I feel like I get saddle sores easier. So if you haven't tried squirrel nut butter, highly recommend it. 
This morning I have an hour and 15 minutes on the bike. It is a sweet spot style workout, meaning there are three 12 minute segments. Those three segments, the 12 minutes, are broken up into four smaller three minute segments of 88 to 94% of FTP. This allows you to get in kind of a high level of work for a longer interval, but you break that interval up into some smaller sections, which ultimately allows you to get the same amount of work in, but it's a little less daunting. At the beginning of this video, I had some words on the screen. One talked about an adage, which is basically a, kind of an old saying or a statement that holds some truth to it. And the saying I put up on the screen was, want in one hand and shit in the other. And see which one gets full first. That is something my father used to say to me as a kid. I'm gonna talk more about this after this workout, but that statement, when he would say it to me, I'd be saying, I want this toy. I want to go to Disneyland. I want to whatever, insert thing I wanted, material, goal, whatever it is. As a kid, I thought it was just a kind of a funny saying. It took years of hearing it for it to start to sink in. And that statement, that funny saying, has had probably one of the most profound impacts on my mindset as an adult, as an athlete, as a professional. It's so easy to say I want, and that's why over time, I changed what I say to I will. And that's what this video is about. Let's talk more about that when I'm done. Change don't change like it used to. Who runs the roost round here? The coop's gone clear. Got the heart from the base to the snare. But the word is what's keeping them here. Word to my peers. The word don't start till the top. Think it's resting, but we're not. I spread the message and it's love. I get the S and the P and the R. Above. I see the restless with the keys and the palm for the bump. A bit of grinding up the herb is what I'm on. Shouts go out to mums. This one is the icy one. All right, well, I am done. 115. Time to grab a bite to eat and shower and get to work. I will do my run, I think, uh, maybe at lunch today or maybe this evening when I'm, I'm done working. 40 minutes easy at some point. I also am going to try and squeeze in my weightlifting because. Uh, it is Thursday and I need to knock that out. I'm gonna do some uh, upper body strength training and we're gonna talk about the I Will Mindset, the podcast I just recorded this morning and uh, released. So I gotta get to it. These are the shorts my family makes fun of me for wearing because they are green, but they are amazing. They're by a company called Jambies. And no, not sponsored, just in the mood to tell you about all the products I like right now, I guess. But they are so comfortable. I thought I ordered a black pair with a green band. That's what they had in my size. Well, that is not what came. Green came. And I was going to return them, but I tried them on. And they felt so good that I decided to keep them. So now they are my funny green shorts that I get made fun of for wearing. The Christmas music is a rockin' in here this morning. The Christmas spirit is all over this house. What is going on in here? Starbucks hot chocolate. Whoa. It's a red cup day, so for every grande. So are you telling me mom woke up early? And got hot chocolate. And went and got you guys Starbucks. red cups from, wow. You guys are spoiled kids, you know that? She got one. <laughs> Who's more spoiled? Who's more spoiled? You were up quite early this morning. I wake up early. I just ignore everybody until I really want to see people. Oh, so you lay in bed hiding? Yes. Uh, you hide in the gym. I hide in the bedroom. <laughs> Very true. Cool. So you got all your new gear last night. I got new volleyball bag. Smaller than the last one. Smaller, yeah, which is all right. Um, Two sweatshirts. Yeah, but I wore the sweatshirt last night. Oh, t-shirts. Oh, practice, practice shirts. shirts. Practice shirts. Very cool. Oh, I like I like the new design. I, I really like the new yeah, one though. Like a little wave. Council award. Oh, okay. I'll need for that. 
Me and Anna are in carpool. I'll probably end up leaving here by like six ish. Okay. Let's start at six thirty. All right. Well, the day it is flying by, and I am going to hop on the treadmill at lunch. I have got 40 minutes and then I will eat something real quick before hopping on my next meeting. But 40 minutes easy, math run, under 135 heartbeat, just a recovery run. Let's get the legs moving. I feel like my run is making some progress. It has been so frustrating, so hard to continue to try and train and feel like the progress is, is moving so slow, but it's, it's moving and uh, it's, it's improving. So I'm gonna knock this out. Dead to me, R.I.P. buried. Moody Diddy Moya on the side of head of me. Dead to me, R.I.P. buried. Moody Kuku Kogi Suga passing at a pity. Wait out, time of the Chanel. Tangan on the Jag and Muchi Marcel. Sunk a cushion, she could and I live to tell the tale. Moshi Paki, he had Jim and Coffin and a nail. Very so deep. Let's close this door. Christmas music is still blasting in the house. Well, I am done with that run. It was loud out there, so I decided to hop in here real quick. I ended up going for an hour instead of 40 minutes. I just felt really good. So lunch is gonna have to be a little tighter. You know, just grab something and get right back to work. But running on the lever, if you've never experienced running on the lever or an Ultra G, Ultra Z, Zero Gravity, whatever they call them, it's incredible. Right after surgery, I purchased my lever and it has really changed my running in general. All of my recovery runs I do with the lever. So if you're prone to injury or you're trying to do lots of miles, right? Maybe you're doing ultras, whatever it may be, but you have been injured, you are coming back and, or you wanna double up on your running, you wanna increase your running, right? The lever is a great way to do it. You can run on there. I was just running 8.5 miles per hour, right? faster than I normally would in my zone two with 35 pounds removed from my body weight. And it feels amazing. I'll look the price up right here. I can't recommend it enough if you own a treadmill. It's a really great way to get runs in and reduce the stress on your body. All right, well, I'm gonna eat this sandwich real quick, but let's do a quick diet update. It's been uh, almost a week, not quite a week, since I updated that I had hit the lowest point that I had been at, which was 183, I think was the lowest I've hit. Since then, I kind of have gone right back up to 184.2 and just kind of stayed there every day that I've gotten on the scale for the last week, which, it's frustrating. Why isn't it continuing to go down? For the last month, every time I step on the scale, you know, some days it goes up, but at least four days later, it's gone down again. And uh, it's just kind of holding steady right there at uh, 184.3. So I'm hoping that I will have another breakthrough and get back down into that 183. So I was starting to get hopeful that maybe I would hit 180 by La Quinta. But as goes with diets, it's, a, it's an up and down based on hydration, based on what you ate, based on all types of things. So while it, it's frustrating, I'm just sticking with it, doubling down, being extra careful, measuring everything, drinking a ton of water, just to make sure I can do everything I can to keep chipping away. 
All right, well, I'm about to hit my strength training session. I'm gonna do some upper body work, some dumbbell work, some pull-ups, things like that. It is getting dark so much earlier now. Kids are inside getting their homework done, so I've got a little while. But I wanted to go back to what I talked about this morning. I started to share with you about a saying my father uh, used to say as I grew up as a kid, when I would say, I want things. I want to do this. I want to go here. I want this toy. He would say, want in one hand and shit in the other and see which one gets full first. And as a kid, I thought it was just a, a funny saying. It, it didn't click for quite some time, but he continued to say it to me as I got older. And eventually I started to realize people say, I want all the time. They say, I wanna lose weight. I wanna save money. I want to go on this vacation. I want to run a marathon. I want to do an Ironman. I hear it all the time, especially with the videos I make. I hear from people all the time, I want, I want, I want. And every time I hear it, it takes me back to my father saying that funny little saying to me. And over time, what I started to realize was, I want is, like stating a desire. It's like stating a dream. There's no commitment. There's no ownership. There's no responsibility there. And in time, I started to replace I want when I was setting a goal with I will. I will lose weight. I will run faster. I will go sub five hours in a 70.3. I will run sub seven minute miles in the half marathon in a 70.3, and I will qualify for the Boston Marathon. When I say I will, instead of I want, it's a shift. It's a slight shift in mindset. That's all it is, it's simple. It's just a shift. I'm going from this thing that I want, I dream of, to ownership, to responsibility. I am taking charge. I am exhibiting self-confidence. I am showing that I have confidence in myself in accomplishing this goal. So I've taken it upon myself when I state my goals to say, I will insert goal. It could be save money, could be lose weight, whatever it is. But I wanted to share this with you. I've thought about it a long, long time. And I've actually put a lot of work into it behind the scenes. And I felt like as I've been doing the daily cadence videos, it's just pushed me and driven me to decide to finally share this mindset that I use with all of you. So what am I doing? Uh, I've launched a website. It's I Will Mindset. I've owned it forever. And I'm gonna start putting articles there that I like to write about, just my thoughts on tips, things I've learned. There are a bunch of themes that I feel go along with the mindset and achieving goals and being a better person, I will be authentic. I will be committed. I will be consistent. I will be effective. I will be grateful. I will be humble. I will be intentional. I've talked about being intentional with your decisions, what distractions you let in. I want to explore that more. I will be mindful. I will be relentless. And ultimately, I will be unstoppable. I will achieve the goals that I set. And obviously this goes back to setting goals that can be attained. Goals, you set a big lofty goal, like running a marathon, and you've been sitting on the couch for five years. Well, how are you going to achieve this huge goal? You need to break that down into sub goals, right? A 5K, a 10K, you need to get a coach. You need to get up early because you need to get your training in. All of these things result in I will, I will get up early. I will get my workout in. I will run a 5K. All along the way, you are setting the expectation, you are taking the responsibility, this unwavering commitment to achieving your goal. So I'd love to hear your feedback on the idea. I recorded a podcast this morning and I have launched the podcast now. It is available on Spotify and Apple, it's called I will mindset. I'll put the links in the description. I'd love to get your feedback on the concept, the idea, your thoughts about it, because my goal is to continue these daily cadence videos. I love doing them, but to also be able to share in more detail 
the thoughts and the philosophies, the ideas that go behind what I see as helping drive me forward, keeping me motivated to achieve my goals. I gotta get my workout in. Well, I am done with the workout. I am uh, sweating a little bit, <laughs> gonna need another shower, but good workout, feeling good, feeling stronger, pull-ups are getting stronger, push-ups are getting stronger, everything just feels stronger. So while this week I might not have lost a lot of weight or felt like I've lost any weight, I do feel like I'm getting stronger. So progress is still happening. But now I'm gonna get inside, hang out with the kids. We're gonna make some dinner. And uh, yeah, I think it's just the girls and I tonight. I think Christina has another school board something going on. Hola. Oh, see, constantly something new in this house to tempt me. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for testing my commitment to my diet. I can always rely on you. Oh my God, I just fell off the chair trying to film. Oh, I might have to have a bloopers reel this time. You're amazing. This one? That one? 